There's a pool in the back. <laughs> I don't even know what thought I was going to go with after that. It's free. <laughs> Get into free. the game. You know when you're on the ground. All right, yep. We are going to be having oh, sh oh, Bankai switching back to ZSS as he faces off against the newcomers to this game, that being Hydra playing Pyra and Mithra. This is a... If you're asking me, this is a contender for a top tier character in this game. They got a lot of stuff going for them. They have pretty much, by having the ability to swap, they can cover so much of each other's weaknesses. I mean, the, one of their main weaknesses that both have is that they can both get edge guarded pretty effectively. But otherwise, if you need something for a, for a moment, for an option, then more than likely one of the two characters has it. You just have to be freely willing to swap. Swapping can seem a little bit unorthodox, uh, at least in the moment, because it's not frame one invincible like Pokemon Trainer, but it takes half the time. And look at the stage dominance that Hydra's showing in the beginning of this uh, of this game. So I'm looking a little bit like Snake there with that spot dodge up tilt to take the first stock. Honestly, I'm really liking the switching that's going on from Hydra. We uh, there have been a couple situations where, in order to catch Bankai's landings, he's done a quick swap into the um, the name the Py Pyrus forward B, forward special. Blanking out on the name because these characters are new. Forward special. That's uh, throws the, the flame. Yeah, oh my god! Throws the flame sword. Blazing edge, I think. Fire spin. Fire spin. <laughs> that, sorry, that's a Charizard move. Anyway, it, it's blazing edge. I'm pretty sure it's blazing, blazing edge. edge. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which is also a very unique move, um, given that Pyra is still able to move but not able to throw out any actual attacks. Uh, not able to make it back though, and now we're having. Um, by the way, this is what probably the the best skin for the characters because it is actually hard to tell who's playing without looking at the actual icons in the uh, in like the bottom right, and that's important when you're playing against the character. If you can't immediately tell whether or not you're play you're fighting the one who can kill you off of an errant move at like eighty, <laughs> changes up how you gotta play neutral. Yeah. The each matchup is fundamentally different, but since they can swap so quickly, it can be a little bit tough to change gears so fast. While ZSS does have the, the benefit of being equally quick. Wow, yeah, too, a little bit too high percent. Not going to get the spike hitbox. And Hy Mithra, well, Pyra might not get as much use in this matchup comparatively, comparatively to some others. Mithra will be riding through with uh will get so much utility since they can keep up with all of zss's shenanigans and have a sword and have a really prolific combo game and you're dead <laughs> yeah no honestly hydro hydra has been using pyro really really well but specifically switching to her when he already feels like he has an advantage, when he has Bankai trapped in the corner, trapped at ledge, trying to land, that's when he's switching to Pyra. Pyra definitely, in terms of her neutral, because she's so much slower, uh, it, very few times would you rather be Pyra against ZSS in neutral. But once you have the advantage, the ability to close out a stock or you know just hit him with that one hit that matters so much uh, definitely helped uh, Hydra win that game one. And I think we might even see a character swap. No, it looks like Bankai is going to be staying ZSS uh, for game two. Yeah, I mean, there's no no reason not to like swap into a matchup where, as thanks, Web, for the sub, uh, there's no reason to say, like, oh, like, I'm going to switch to a character that trouble trouble getting smothered. Uh, Pokemon Trainer ha has had a little bit of issues with their disadvantage, and ZSS is like escape out of disadvantage to the character in a lot of ways. What you, what I feel like Bankai needs to do a little bit more in this matchup is to not try and go head first into some of the challenges that Hydra's been doing, but look for more of a a circle kind of approach, whether it be cir literally circle camping which you can do to an extent, uh, 
or trying to go for some more cross-ups, trying to go for some more flip jumps to mix up the direction you're approaching. Because right now, it looks like Hydra's been doing an incredible job at stuffing <laughs> landings and covering so much space. Here we are. I, I really do want to commend the, the Pyra switches. Just figuring out the exact moments when it's going to make a difference, switching to the heavier hitter of the two. And now that we're at these lower percents, it's going to probably be Mithra for a while. Ooh, actually managing to live right there. Although, um, I believe Pyra is a little bit heavier. I was told yep. that at one point. So, switching to Pyra, A, because you have advantage, and B, because, well, you're not going to live that. I don't think Pyra is heavier than, like, Bowser. So. Pyra's uh, about Mario weight, while Mithra is wolf weight. So it's 98 to 92, respectively, if you're doing the numbers. Thank you for those numbers. Yep. Gotta like the numbers. Gotta, Gotta like, like John it. numbers. That number one seed. Already, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is absolutely a tight game right now, as Bankai is fully feeding his way back into the lead, finding solid hit for solid hit, and missing that tech has to switch. Oh. Does make it back. I'm wondering if some level of matchup unfamiliarity might also be affecting Bankai here. Um, for one, I'm not sure. I don't think he plays as much on Wi-Fi, so he probably hasn't had the chance to play against this character, generally speaking. And then on top of that, there are a couple like, how do you edge guard this character if you've never tried to really edge guard them before, you know? There are probably some advantages in that regard that Hydra uh, can maybe really take advantage of. Yeah, that's, I mean, new character syndrome is pretty huge. And while the character's been out for a week, and even some of the theory stuff that Mithra can do hasn't been shown off in this game, same can be said for uh, for Bankai and for anyone that plays against Hydra in this game. It's like, uh, in this uh, bracket, it's like, hey, how do I effectively edge guard? Uh, do you have a lingering aerial? Do you not? Well, you know, but flip kick, uh, flip kick still be still be burying people and that still is certainly plenty of utility right there that Bankai might have to use in order to win this game being down by uh, exactly a scale of eight <laughs> down by 77 and and now it's getting a little bit less though you've introduced number scales you have to continue uh oh that should be it oh what <laughs> great drift from numbers <laughs> Talking about numbers. Good job from Bonkai managing to avoid that forward smash punish. Oh, oh but dead. that's going to be it. Oh, man. That is a brutal kill screen. That is just nothing but flames. And so we're going to have Hydra moving on in the winner's... Uh, top sorry, into top five. eight on the loser's side. Top yep. eight best of five. Oh, yeah, I am yeah. sorry. You are correct. I was going to ask, but mm -hmm. then I forgot to because I'm stupid and dumb. And I remember <laughs> back when Xeno used to be two out of three. All the way up to we're already finals. home. Well, no, we we did we we did a, a decent amount of best of fives for sagas. So you know, monthly that's true. monthly vibes. Yeah. yeah, it is the Zeno Wi-Fi monthly. Oh God, another one. <laughs> so close. We're so close, everybody. But while we're here, it's gonna be a a run back. Okay, I'm surprised. I would have thought that FD, well, not necessarily bad for ZSS by any stretch of the imagination. You lost twice in a row on this stage. I would think, like, oh, maybe try and switch it up to make what could be a better stage in the matchup uh, just worth, to try stuff out. But nope. I think it's also worth thinking about trends. Um, that Bankai game one, very dominant for uh, Hydro. Game two, Bankai started to clean it, you know, cleave his way back. And Bankai's a very solid player. He's been doing this for a long time. So it might be that he's starting to feel like he's figured out what he needs to do. And he's like, okay, if I continue doing what I need to, I know that on FD, I'm getting there. So I just got to stick with the plan and just continue improving bit by bit. Oh, that was a fantastic movement to get the punish. But in the end, Bankai didn't get much more out of it besides the paralyzing shot. He's got to switch to Mithra now, and he's dead. Yeah, he, he didn't have a jump. He got his jumps taken by the second back air, it looks like. And now we're going to have to see how uh, how Hydra can find this kill without a lead. Not doing it quite yet. Mithra, uh, uh, not Mithra, Pyra's down air is a ridiculous move with a ma with not only a massive spike hitbox, but a massive auto-cancel window, which can also let it confirm into things like up air or up smash. 
Wow, off the top, not even off the side for that one. And ba Bankai managed to get a really big stock uh, lead, and now it's pretty much all gone. Already taking 32%, 43 from that quick low percent Mithra combo. And, ooh, yeah, no, just the fact that, you know, myth that uh, Hydra has a sword available to him, really using that to the... Oh, he's... It's huge. Yeah. Pirate down air, massive. Absolutely, like, monstrous. Oh, and you don't have a flip jump. But he okay. doesn't go for another downer. Okay. God, it never feels safe anywhere with this character sometimes. Like, if you are if you try to land and hold shield, it feels like Mithra's right in your face with an, yet another down tilt. Like, the amount of option coverage this character can put out is... I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. It has harkened back comparisons to other Smash games as you are dead once more. You know, before I had been saying, oh, I like how he's going Pyro when he has, you know, stage positioning and advantage. No, that time he was he was in the neutral. He had a stock lead, at, you know, that advantage. But like he just played the neutral really well, throwing out the flaming sword and just killing Bankai at such early percents. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, this character's looking pretty hype, and I'm really liking the way that Hydra is playing them. It's real good. It, no, the character's super good. Hydra has been one of the more consistent representatives of the character, at least in the other weeklies that happened throughout the uh, well, week. Uh, they've been, when, uh, I think they got second at Fusion this Monday using almost exclusively Pyra and Mithra, even to players like uh, Rivers. It's, and they're, it's showing the showing the results of just how strong this character is on a fundamental level. Like they don't have any ridiculous individual moves or any sort of meter like Arsene or the or Go or. I mean, have you know. taken a look at some of those character hitboxes though? Yeah, 